Hi, I'm Thibir Pali and I'm an electronics and communication student at Amity Industry Afghanistan. In the summer of year 2014, I interned at Theory Practical under the guidance of Mr. Arun Gupta. Here, the work environment is so great that I every day wanted to get out of my house and come here as I wanted to see what Arun sir had to show us or what he was going to show us in us. This experience was amazing for me as I got to learn new science and uh, I made great friends. I, con I conducted several experiments here, several projects here and that was the experience for me that I wanted to share with you. So, the experience that I want to share with you is that me learning how to control the speed of a DC motor using a microcontroller. Let's have a look at our microcontroller based DC motor control using PWM. So, here we have our DC motor. Here we have our T2P board that is Theory to Practical Development board. Here we have microcontroller. This one is motor controller IC 293D. This one is 7 segment display for showing the percentage PWM that is duty cycle. And here we have three keys for increasing and decreasing the duty cycle. Here we have the two terminals of this motor. I am connecting it to the output of this. I see. Now, using this button, I am varying the its speed. Now it's become zero, and after that, it will start rotating in a opposite direction. It can also control using PC via this USB PCB. Moving on to our next topic that is controlling the speed of a DC motor using a microcontroller. So this is the block diagram of our project. In the heart of the project we have the microcontroller. The microcontroller can take two kinds of inputs. One is from the key and one is from the PC. The key has three major keys that is mode, up and down. The mode key defines what kind of input the microcontroller is going to take that is either it's going to take the key input or the PC input. When uh, uh, the up and the down keys are going to represent uh, are the keys that uh, control the actual duty cycle or the RPM of the DC motor, up is to increase the uh, speed and down is to decrease the speed. The PC input is fed to the microcontroller through a USB to serial converter. This converter is actually the interface between the PC and the microcontroller. The microcontroller as it can take two inputs can also give out two outputs that is one to a seven segment LED display and uh, that LED dis that display is gonna uh, show us the duty cycle that is the speed of the DC motor, the direction that is the rotation of the DC motor and also the mode that is which mode uh, is actually which input is actually fed into the microcontroller at the moment. The microcontroller is also gonna send information to the microcontroller IC L293D that we discussed in our previous topic, in our previous video, and that IC is actually going to control the physical motor.